Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. Man, I'm ready to kick it off with a good video right here. We have some amazing fishing. This was actually my birthday day that we went fishing. Ended up catching a really big fish. It was me and Katie. We went out on some John boats. Had a good time, but before we even hop into that, if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button on the video. As you guys know, we had some big announcements in last video. I'm excited to finally release that to the public. It's gonna be a great year, guys. We're gonna work together as a team, and it's gonna be awesome. One of the topics in that video, I'm actually going to handle all off YouTube I think that's the professional thing to do we're never going to talk about this again all this stuff and personal things they're going to be handled off YouTube and in person I think that's the bigger man thing to do and uh, we're working to be a better person every single day and I want everybody watching this to do that as well you know we grow as humans we grow as individuals we learn from our mistakes and we learn from certain things every single day you know I'm a better person than I was last week and last week I was a better person than I was six months ago as long as we can all take accountability on our actions and learn learn every single day and uh, become a better person from that. That's what's gonna make this world go around. That's what's gonna make the world a better place and make it a more a positive environment. So I just wanted to put that out there. All that type of stuff is gonna be handled off of YouTube. I think that's the right thing to do. So let's talk about the positive here. You know, we're partnered up with Strike King now. Um, it's an amazing opportunity. I'm very blessed to have this opportunity, very grateful. More importantly, I, I wanna put something out there. I really wouldn't be in that position to have an opportunity like that without you guys like that would not be possible and i just would like to say thank you guys so much everybody who supports the brand supports the channel supports my journey um i'm very thankful and very blessed for that and i'm so happy to just call you guys family and call us a unit and call us a team you know you guys aren't just viewers or, or fans whatever you want to call you guys you guys are my family i feel like all of you watching right now you're my brothers and sisters and and we're all working to better ourselves throughout life and uh, learn things and push ourselves in the right direction. So I'm just so excited. This is gonna be the best year of our life and we're gonna kill it. So let's go ahead and hop into this video. Like I said, we have some fun fishing. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. Hit the like button if you guys wanna see some more content like this. Let's hop right into it. All right guys, we just got on the water today and we are going to try to catch some big fish. I'm excited about it. And uh, this is my birthday fishing day. So I'm hoping that I will receive a present from the old fishies and maybe a 10 pound bass. If you guys are wondering what we're starting off with today, we got a Lose Custom Pro on a Mach 2 rod and then I actually have a blade bait on this. I've been running the fish head on this spot recently. There's so much fish loaded in this pocket right here. And so we're gonna start here, work out towards the main lake and work out towards the mouth. But there is so many fish that are stacked up in here. All the bait is up in this pocket and it's just gonna be one of those crazy winter fishing days. All right, let's get started and they're popping right there. What if I caught one first cast? I actually got Katie with me by the way, she's back there. Hopefully we can get her PV today. I think we're gonna catch one this cast. They're blowing up out there. Imagine like first cast, double up, five pounders. That's how one hit me. It's like, just slapped it. Really? Yeah. Oh gosh, he came off. Slapped it again. He's right under the boat. All right guys, well Katie's gonna keep throwing this blade bait, but, and I know this can be a good bait today, but something's telling me to throw something different while we're starting just to figure these fish out. And uh, I actually have some fish heads, some underspins, and um, we're gonna try this out. You guys know that underspin bite the other day was just spectacular. So it's just hard for me not to throw one on. This is actually a one fourth ounce. We were using a half the other day, but the one fourth should be fine. Might be even better. It's not too deep. Well, there we go, guys. There's that fish head, quarter ounce. Now we need a swim bait. We're just gonna put one of these small swim baits. It's gonna be perfect for this thing. Look at that. Tell me that won't cush him. It should. It's going to. It's not that it should or shouldn't. It's going to catch him. Oh no, we're gonna work our way to the mouth. They might be at the mouth with all that wind up there too. Yeah. I just think they could be right out here in this wind. There's still fish under me. I mean, they're down there. There he is. That's a good one. That's a big one. That's a really good one for the first fish, ain't it? Look at that one. That's 
three and a half pounder. That might be a four pounder. Uh, I'll grab him. Look at that one. That's over three pounds. <laughs> Look at that. First fish, and that is a birthday fish right there. My first birthday fish. Oh, I jacked him good too on that little hook. That's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, That's a three it. pounder. Uh, birthday fish, come on. I guess you can take a picture. It's a little small one to take a picture. All right, guys, well, we just worked right out towards the mouth, caught our first fish of the day. About a three pounder in this belly. Look how fat he is. Yeah, it's really good. It's crazy, isn't it? He was right there under the boat. This is where they were stacked up the other day. If we get on this bite again, I'm gonna go berserk. Like, I don't know what I could do to catch another 50 fish in one day. If we fire him up, they might do it. He ate it good though. He didn't play with it. I mean, they're just down there. They're just not. They're not if you get a crankbait and fire them up, they'll eat every cast. All right, you want to? Yeah. All right, guys. So we just can't get these fish to fire up. Like they're here. These fish are in the area. The bait's in the area. But the baits that we're throwing, the fish head and the blade bait, they just, they're not eating it. So what I want to do is I just tie on a little crankbait right here and we're going to throw it down there. This, you know, the thing about a crankbait is you can really fire them up with it. So that's kind of my goal right here. Once we have them fired up, I think they'll eat that fish head and everything else, but we just got to get them active and, and chewing. And something about a crankbait just really triggers bass to bite. So let's see if we can uh, fire them up real quick. There he is, first cast. You can't make this up. Oh, it's a big one. Big one. I need a net. Get ready. It's a giant. I mean, giant. Oh my God. Oh. Is that not the craziest thing in the world? Cast. That's a three and a half pounder. What did we just say though? We can't get them to bite the, the fish head and the, and the other thing, you pick up a crankbait, something about a crankbait, first cast, three and a half pounder. Look at that, we're catching bigs today. I think these are the big ones down there. We're gonna fire them up on this crank. That's a three and a half pound bass. You can just set it down, I'll get in a second. Sure. All right guys, there we go. Third or second fish of the day, solid three pounder. The first one was a three pounder. This one's a little heftier, maybe a half a pound bigger. And uh, you know, we're throwing the blade baits. We're throwing the fish heads. We weren't getting bites. We murdered them on those baits the other day. And uh, you wanna show them something different. That's exactly what I showed him. I showed him a crankbait, something he can react to. And something about a crankbait, bass just love to bite. So what we're gonna do is throw multiple casts down there with crankbaits. See if we can fire this big school of bass up because these are large ones. These aren't nothing small. And I think we could uh, possibly hook into like a 10 pounder. Get him back in the water. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there he goes. That's a beast. All right, we're gonna throw back in there some crankbaits. See if we can catch another big one. What's the, what's the key to success right here? So the key to success is getting the bait on the bottom. So you, does that mean reeling faster? So what I like to do is when I throw the crankbait here, I'll show you, this will be good for the video too. I'll throw it out there, right? Yeah. And to get that crankbait down, you have to reel it. Yeah. So I like to reel it fast at the beginning. Uh -huh. And then once I get it on the bottom, I slow it down. Okay. And then it's good every once in a while, you know, just give it like, if you just want to stop it and kill it, or if you want to speed it up, like that can trigger the fish to bite. I keep it down because it's going to help it dig deeper. You shouldn't have a problem. I mean, we're not too deep. We're only in 12 foot. Remember, they were, they were stacked out in this middle. Yeah. Oh, I thought I've hooked, hooked one a few times. I just got slapped. Nah. Huh. God, I took the rod out of my hand. Dude, that's another good one. I don't need the net. Sure. Get it. Yeah. That's okay. another three pounder. But they're, why are they so big? He about know? jerked it out of my hand. That guy's cracked. Look at that. Wait, he's going. Is that a fish head? No, it's a crank. Keep throwing it down there. Look at how he ate. Look, he's not even hooked. Wow. The bill is holding it. Look at that. He ate it that much. You can't tell me that fish isn't cracked out. He ate it head first. That is the most aggressive bass I've caught all day. Look at his lip, his lip's ripped. He's been caught a few times. It's not a three pounder, but that's a two. It's a two all day. Three fish for eight and a half pounds. That's a good little start. 
jeez, that's a dang good one. I think. I might have him hooked weird. Look at him running sideways. Yeah. I'm hooked weird. Oh, I thought that was a really big one. Here, cast back up in there. Where were you? I just right out there in the middle. Look how I hooked him. That's why he felt so big. See, he slapped at it. Got him right, right under the chin. Nice. There we go, guys. You can tell where I scraped him on the head, too. That's the fish just slapping at it. That's only like a pound, pound and a half, but super fat guy. We're getting somewhere. Crankbait bite's doing the job. Oh, what? I got one. The big one? <laughs> Is it big? Oh, it looks like a good one. Were you just yeah. trolling? How big is he? Is he big or is he? Oh, it's like. You got him in the eyeball. Oh, no. Eyeballio. You want eyeball me to get it? You want to hold him? Yeah, I'll take a picture. You, oh, you got a giant. Oh. Katie, that's your PV right there. Yeah. 100%. Is he actually on there? Oh, you got a freaking giant. You got like a freaking hoss. That's the biggest fish you've ever hooked. Am I okay? Yeah, Am you're I good. Am I doing the right things? Yeah, you're just. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. That That's that's like a 12 pounder or it's a catfish. Is that a bass? It is so big. What is that? I don't know if I get in the net. What is that? That is no way that's a bass. You got something so dang big that I've never seen anything like it. I want to see it, please. Oh, you snagged something. <laughs> I don't know. It's not a bass, I don't think. That's too big. Should I let it off? No, don't let it off. Look at it fighting. This is crazy. <laughs> it's letting out so much life. <laughs> this is crazy. This is huge, whatever it is. You got it snagged. I don't know. If it's a catfish or a turtle or Should a ten pound, fighting it? yeah. Look at how hard it's t tugging. This is crazy. My wrist hurts. Don't let pressure off though. This is huge. I'm scared though. It's not the bass. What is that? Is it? A, what is it? <laughs> I, I like haven't been able to get an eye on it. Is it a gator? It's a carp. You have a giant. You have a 30, 40 pound carp on. Can I let it go? Or can you take it? You want, you want you me to it? finish it? Yeah. This is a huge carp. You have them hooked in the tail. In the tail? Yeah. It's huge, guys. This rod feels like it's going to dang snap. It is huge. I thought you had a 10 pound bass. It's, it won't give up. I broke a reel on a carp like this because they're so strong. You have him hooked in the tail. That's why he's fighting so hard. I can't believe he hasn't came off. Ooh. This is crazy. Are you sure it's a carp? Yeah, it's a carp. Oh, you saw it? Look, at, you're about to see it. You ready? Yeah. It's right here. I'm gonna try to show. It's a carp. Where is he? Here? Oh, Look yeah. What do we do? <laughs> I don't know. It's so big though. I really want to get it in the net, but I don't know if it'll fit in the net. Look at how big it is. Ew, no. That's 40 pounds. Look at his tail. Get that on camera. I want to show the people. All that's, right, that's a 40 pound. This is the biggest carp I've ever seen. Let me try to zoom in. Should I get off on the bank? Yeah. Well, you got a fight in today. We both got a fight. Look how big it is. Look, 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 look. Oh. Oh, that. that's, that's gross. Like a you want me just to knock him off? Oh, it Look looks like that. a tarpon. He gave up. Look at him. It's a huge carp. I don't know what to do. He's wore out now, though. That thing is so big. That's a 30 40 footer. Or a 30 40 pounder. Well, at least I know how to catch a big fish if I need to. I told you when you hooked that, I'm like, that's your dang PB. This is crazy. I seriously thought you had like a 12 pound bass. Look at that thing. Huge. See how he's all it's worn out? It's tail is bigger than my f face. 
Come on, buddy. I, I just want to get you off now. Holy crap. Whew. It wrapped around three of my fingers. I just like held my oh. tension. I was like, just snap. Mm -hmm. Well, that sucks. I tried. It was uh. That was crazy, but why, how did I get a foot? What? How did I get? How did I get in? That was like foot? a forty-pound carp. <laughs> I think it was huge. <laughs> it's like a dang shark. <laughs> Should be one of that little cubby. Yep. Oh my gosh, five pounder. I'm gonna land them. Oh my god, never mind, never mind, never mind. Yeah, I need the net. You wanna do it or you wanna do it? Snap. Oh, I can love. Here, come on this side. He's like a six, seven pounder. Get him in that net. Mm. I fell in the water. A six pounder. Here, hold it. Look at that. A dang six pounder. Guys, we just, oh man, I just hooked up a toad. I just called my shot too. That's freaking every bit of five, six pounds. When he jumped, I thought he was like seven. When he first jumped, I thought he was five. And then he just looked, he just looked so big. Oh my God, he's a man. Freaking toad. It's five pounder. You gonna weigh it? Yeah. All right, let's zero it out. Slimy. Guys, look at that right there. That is a solid five plus. That is a big, and I just called my shot. He was, what are you doing back there? Sorry. I just called my shot. He was right there on that point. We're gonna get a weight on this girl. I promise you, she's over five. It's impossible not to be. That's not zero. Uh -huh. What'd you get? Five pounds, three ounces, five and a quarter. Nice. It's a freaking big one right there, guys. That's a good fish. Been hunting for these big ones today, and we've honestly, the bass that we have caught, I've been freaking toads and we caught some good three pounders today, but to catch a five and a, it's a good fish right there. That's a big one. Not only is she long, but she's just thick and healthy. We're gonna get her back in the water, but I'll probably get a picture real quick. Sure. All right, guys, here we go. Five and a quarter. We're gonna get back in there and try to catch another one. We gotta get Katie on one of these. That's, that probably would've, would this been your PB? Oh yeah, Like probably. official, right? Definitely. That's a freaking big one. When he jumped, I did not expect him to be that big. It's a beautiful fish though. Gonna love catching those big girls. There she goes. Woo. All right, Katie, it's your turn now. Now we know the big ones are biting, so just gotta make it happen. Feels so good down there. Oh my God. Right here. Yeah, they're here on this side. All right, guys, we just pulled up on the spot and I've been trying to figure out where they're stacked up. And one thing I noticed there was a herring on that bank, a loon out here eating bait. And I saw some bait flicker a second ago. Sure enough, threw a cast down there, was digging into this good stuff on the bottom and he just loaded up on it. You got one, big one. Oh, you got a big. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one. It's a three pounder or a two pounder. Dang, two pounder. You got two number. It's still a big one. Actually, it's bigger than it sounds. It's the biggest one you caught all day. Close. That's a good it's fat one. Throw it in, throw it in there. I don't know, he feels big, but I don't think it's too big. Oh, it's two pounder. Gosh, they're here. I've seen those minnows, they're not big. But I have a feeling there's a couple big ones with them. Uh, nah. Oh, yeah.